The Bagoon Lyocicla is a small babbler with olive gray plumage and a black cap. For a spectacular bird, with distinctive calls to have been overlooked until 1995 suggests that the species is not common. Only three breeding pairs are currently known and is listed as critically endangered. While the species is capable of living in degraded forests, its small population is considered threatened, especially in the light of plans to build a highway through an area thought to be its primary habitat. The Namdafa flying squirrel is an arboreal, nocturnal flying squirrel endemic to Arunachal Pradesh in northeast India. Its range may be restricted to a single valley and it is threatened by poaching of animals for food from within the park, and possibly by habitat destruction. It is among the 25, most wanted lost, species that are the focus of Global Wildlife Conservation's Search for Lost Species initiative. Its cheek teeth are simple, and its incisors are unpigmented. Septae are multiple in auditory bully and sometimes honeycomb shaped with 10 to 12 cells in it. The wild-bellied heron is mostly solitary and occurs in undisturbed riverside or wetland habitats. It has been listed as critically endangered, because the global population is estimated at less than 300 mature individuals and threatened by disturbance and habitat degradation. It is under grave threat of extinction due to accelerated development of large-scale hydropower projects in the basin. Rising water levels force the nesting birds to search extensively for fish, leaving the eggs or chicks exposed to predators such as the crested serpent eagle. The pygmy hog is a suet native to alluvial grasslands in the foothills of the Himalayas at elevations of up to 300 meters. Today, the only known population lives in Assam. As the population is estimated at less than 250 mature individuals, it is listed as endangered. The pygmy hog is the sole representative of Porcula, making the conservation of this endangered species even more important, as its extinction would result in the loss of a unique evolutionary branch of pigs. They used to be widespread in the tall, wet grasslands in the southern Himalayan foothills. However, human encroachment has largely destroyed the natural habitat of the pygmy hog by development, agriculture, domestic grazing, and deliberate fires. Indian rhinos have a thick grey-brown skin with pinkish skin folds and one horn on their snout. Their upper legs and shoulders are covered in wart-like bumps. The Indian rhino's single horn is present in both males and females, but not on newborn calves. The horn is pure keratin, like human fingernails, and starts to show after about six years. Adult males are usually solitary. Groups consist of females with calves, or of up to six subadults. Such groups congregate at wallows and grazing areas. They are foremost active in early mornings, late afternoons and at night, but rest during hot days. They bathe regularly. The folds in their skin trap water and hold it even when they exit wallows. Sport hunting became common in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Indian rhinos were hunted relentlessly and persistently. Reports from the middle of the 19th century claim that some British military officers in Assam individually shot more than 200 rhinos. Poaching for rhinoceros horn became the single most important reason for the decline of the Indian rhino after conservation measures were put in place from the beginning of the 20th century, when legal hunting ended. The species is inherently at risk because over 70% of its population occurs at a single site, Kaziranga National Park. Any catastrophic event such as disease, civil disorder, poaching, or habitat loss would have a devastating impact on the Indian rhino status. However, small population of rhinos may be prone to inbreeding depression. Unlike bull sharks, which need to migrate to salt water to reproduce, the Ganges shark is a true river sharks. A typical requiem shark in its external appearance, it is stocky, with two spineless dorsal fins and an anal fin. Its eyes are minute, suggesting that it may be adapted to turbid water with poor visibility, such as occurs in the Ganges River. Their feeding habits are mostly unknown. 
The shark's small eyes and slender teeth suggest that it is primarily a fish eater and is adapted to turbid water. With such limited visibility typical of many tropical rivers and estuaries, other senses minus such as hearing, smell, and electroreception minus are likely used for predation. The Ganges shark is restricted to a very narrow band of habitat that is heavily affected by human activity. Overfishing, habitat degradation from pollution, increasing river use, and management, including construction of dams and barrages, are the principal threats. The gharial probably evolved in the northern Indian subcontinent. Being cold-blooded, it seeks to cool down during hot times and to warm up when ambient temperature is cool. Fossil gharial remains were excavated in Pliocene deposits in the Narmada River Valley. It currently inhabits rivers in the plains of the northern part of the Indian subcontinent. It is the most thoroughly aquatic crocodilian, and leaves the water only for basking and building nests on moist sandbanks. Today, the wild gharial population has declined drastically since the 1930s, and is limited to only 2% of its historical range today. Conservation programs initiated in India and Nepal focused on reintroducing captive bred gharials since the early 1980s. Loss of habitat because of sand mining and conversion to agriculture, depletion of fish resources and detrimental fishing methods continue to threaten the population. It has been listed as critically endangered. The gharial population is estimated to have declined from 5,000 to 10,000 individuals in 1946 to fewer than 250 individuals in 2006, a decline of 97% within three generations. The South Asian river dolphin has the long, pointed nose characteristic of all river dolphins. Their teeth are visible in both the upper and lower jaws even when the mouth is closed. The species lacks a crystalline eye lens and has evolved a flat cornea. The combination of these traits makes the eye incapable of forming clear images on the retina and renders the dolphin effectively blind, but the eye may still serve as a light receptor. Navigation and hunting are carried out using echolocation. They are unique among cetaceans in that they swim on their sides. They have been adversely affected by human use of river systems in South Asia. Entanglement in fishing nets as bycatch can cause significant damage to local populations, and individuals are taken each year by hunters, their oil and meat are used as a liniment, as an aphrodisiac, and as bait for catfish. Poisoning of the water supply from industrial and agricultural chemicals may have also be a contributing factor towards population decline, as these chemicals are biomagnified in the bodies of the dolphins. Perhaps the most significant issue is the building of more than 50 dams along many rivers, causing the segregation of populations and a narrow gene pool in which dolphins can breed. A 2017 population assessment estimated less than 5,000 individuals for the species as a whole. Jaipur Indian gecko is an endangered species of gecko found in India, which was until recently considered extinct. The areas where the lizard has been found are under tremendous pressure from deforestation and mining. The taxon is surmised to possibly be a wet zone relic stranded by the aridification of peninsular India. The Guti sapphire ornamental behavior parallels that of many arboreal spiders. In the wild, it lives in holes of tall trees where it makes asymmetric funnel webs. The primary prey consists of various flying insects. Spiders of this genus may live communally when territory is limited. The species is skittish and will try to flee first, and will also flee when light shines upon it, as it is a photosensitive species. There has never been a recorded human death from its bite. However, its bite is considered medically significant, with venom that may cause intense pain. As with other tarantulas with blue hair, the vivid colors of this spider are produced by crystalline arrays of nanostructures. Structural colors are usually highly iridescent, changing color when viewed from different angles. It is classified as critically endangered due to its occurrence in a single, small area in which habitat is rapidly degrading due to logging and firewood harvesting. Another threat identified assessors as specimen collection for the pet trade.
Cinemispis anacadiensis is an endangered species of gecko found in the Anacati Hills near the city of Coimbatore in Tamil Nadu. Nilgiri mistis is a member of the genus Hemibagris and the family Bagridae. It is endemic to east flowing rivers in the western Ghats of India. The last record of this species was in 1998, and it may have experienced a population decline of nearly 100%. It is categorized as critically endangered, possibly extinct. It is threatened by habitat degradation by excess siltation, excess fishing, and dam construction. However, based on several specimens caught by fishermen between 2012 that likely belong to this species, as well as testimonies from local fishers, moderate populations of this species may still be extant in the region. The forest owlet typically hunts from perches where it sits still and waits for prey. When perched, it flicks its tail from side to side rapidly and more excitedly when it chases prey. Lizards and skinks constitute nearly 60% of its prey. Filial cannibalism by males has been observed. In 2018, the forest owlet was assessed as being endangered, with a population estimated of more than 250 mature individuals. It is threatened by loss and degradation of forests due to illegal logging, encroachment by humans, forest fires and construction of irrigation dams. The great Indian bustard is a large bird with a horizontal body and long bare legs, giving it an ostrich-like appearance, this bird is among the heaviest of the flying birds. Once common on the dry plains of the Indian subcontinent, as few as 150 individuals were estimated to survive in 2018 and the species is critically endangered by hunting and loss of its habitat, which consists of large expanses of dry grassland and scrub. They drink water if it is available and will sometimes sit down to drink or suck water followed by raising up their heads at an angle. When threatened, hens are said to carry young chicks under the wing. The main threats are hunting and habitat loss. In the past they were heavily hunted for their meat and for sport and, today, poaching of the species may continue. In some places, such as Rajasthan, increased irrigation by the Indira Gandhi Canal has led to increased agriculture and the altered habitat has led to the disappearance of the species from these regions. Some populations migrate into Pakistan where hunting pressure is high. Like other vultures, the Indian vulture is a scavenger, feeding mostly from carcasses, which it finds by soaring over savanna and around human habitation. It often congregates in flocks. After work on possible viral causes of the decline, the culprit was discovered by Dr. Lindsay Oakes and his team in 2003 to be diclofenac. Diclofenac is a common anti-inflammatory drug administered to livestock and is used to treat the symptoms of inflammation, fevers and or pain associated with disease or wounds. It was widely used in India beginning in the 1990s. The drug is fatal to vultures, however, and a vulture is exposed to a mortal dose of diclofenac if it eats from the carcass of an animal that has been treated with diclofenac recently. The sudden collapse of the natural animal disposal system in India has had multiple consequences. The carcasses formerly eaten by vultures rot in village fields leading to contaminated drinking water. The disappearance of vultures has allowed other species such as rat and feral dog populations to grow. These newly abundant scavengers are not as efficient as vultures. A vulture's metabolism is a true, dead end, for pathogens, but dogs and rats become carriers of the pathogens. India has an estimated 18 million feral dogs, the largest population of carnivores in the world, which has led to increase in leopards invading inhabited areas preying on feral dogs leading to conflicts with humans. The slender-billed vulture has suffered a marked decline in its numbers in recent years. The population of this species and the Indian vulture declined by 97% overall and in India annual decline rates for both species averaged over 16% between 2000 to 2007. This vulture is mostly grey with a pale rump and grey undertail covers. The thighs have whitish down. The neck is long, bare, skinny and black. The black head is angular and narrow with the dark bill appearing narrow midway. The ear opening is prominent and exposed. The red-headed vulture has started becoming more harder to come by as it is being hunted down. 
Places like Cambodia have put together special programs to help critically endangered vulture species. There has been evidence compiled that showed hunters have started the use of poisons in hunting practices. Today the range of the red-headed vulture is localized primarily to northern India. It is usually in open country and in cultivated and semi-desert areas. It is also found in deciduous forests and foothills and river valleys. It is usually found up to an altitude of 3,000 meters from sea level. Elephants are classified as megaherbivores and consume up to 150 kilograms of plant matter per day. They are generalist feeders, and both grazers and browsers. The preeminent threats to Asian elephants today are habitat loss, degradation, and fragmentation, which are driven by an expanding human population, and lead in turn to increasing conflicts between humans and elephants when elephants eat or trample crops. Loss of significant extents of elephant range and suitable habitat continues. Their free movement is impeded by reservoirs, hydroelectric projects and associated canals, irrigation dams, numerous pockets of cultivation and plantations, highways, railway lines, mining and industrial development. Poaching of elephants for ivory is a serious threat in some parts of Asia. Poaching of tuskers impacts on sex ratios that become highly female biased, genetic variation is reduced, and fecundity and recruitment may decline. Illegal timber extraction plays a significant role in deforestation and habitat degradation. As a result of the shrinking habitat, elephants have become more and more prone to coming into direct conflict with humans. Young wild-born elephants are removed from their mothers in Myanmar for use in Thailand's tourism industry. Mothers are often killed in the process, and calves are placed alongside unrelated cows to suggest they are with their mothers. The calves are often subjected to a breaking in process, which may involve being tied up, confined, starved, beaten and tortured, as a result of which two-thirds may perish.